Well, good morning. Uh, we've been working on this corner workstation, workstation here, made up of three tables. We made the, the two big tables last week, and this week we're going to make this corner table. So if you want to see how we did that, stay tuned, because that's what we're going to do next. Good morning, and welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 299. Um, last week we built two tables that were about 50 inches long and about 26 inches wide. Um, they're going to be workroom tables sitting against the corner, which leaves a square where they meet together of wasted space. Today we're going to build a square uh, it's going to be white, just like the other work tables. It's going to be square to fit in that little uh, cutout space there. So let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. Here are the two tables we built last week. Here's one of them, and the other one's over there. But the situation is, we'll need to put put up against the wall. Um, this. This would be against the wall, and then the corner of the other table will meet right here. It's going to leave this square right in here that needs to be filled. Here's that situation in a little schematic format here. One table would be running this way, the other table would be running that way. And so we're going to be building this table right here, this third table right in the corner. The whole thing will be. Uh, six feet four inches from here to here and here's our schematic of the actual table um, the plywood top will be 24 inches across or 24 inches square but then it's going to be some one inch trim on the uh, edges which will bring the total width to 26 inches notably this this table will have that same four inch lip Right back here and the legs will be identical to the legs we put on the the legs and the frame will be the same as we put on the tables from last week here's a shot of the lip I was talking about you notice that this overhang on the front is much narrower than this overhang on the back um, my friend needs that four inch overhang to attach uh, some clamps for her monitors. Now, last week we had a pretty uh, thorough discussion of the leg tapering jig and all that stuff. So this week we're going to skip over this and I'll just go ahead and do the legs and we can concentrate on something else this week. Well, I got those uh, legs painted up. Let's uh, move on to the, the top. Now I'm going to cut out the uh, wood for the frame. Um, I'm not going to use poplar for that. I got this um, 
leftover oak plywood from one of our projects. This whole project is going to be painted, so, and plywood is actually stronger than regular wood anyway. I got my, pretty much all my stock cut out. I still got some uh, corner blocks I have to cut, but hopefully I can make it out of the uh, frame stock over there. What I'm doing now is uh, painting all the parts. I'll even give the legs a second coat. I was priming this with uh, some of that, I think it's called cuts or something like that. But this paint I bought is so good, it says you can use it as a primer also. So since I'm doing it in white, I just prime it with this stuff. And my plywood is already primed, so I don't have to worry about that. I can't do my table frame and all that stuff until I get this top going. I guess I should have done the top before I did the legs. Well, I got that painting done. And I'm basically reusing the uh, table jig we used for the other tables. I just had to shorten one side. What I'm doing now is kind of centering it on where I want it. I'm going to put a couple of screws in, keep it from sliding around. You don't have to use a table jig to make a table. You can just kind of piece everything together if you want to. Um, but the table jig's easy, and it makes lining the table up. A lot easier. I've made a couple of videos where I go into detail on how to make these table jigs. One of the important features of table jigs is this little spacer that's in here. A little spacer right there, a little quarter inch spacer. That puts the uh, frame and insets it a little bit. It's kind of hard to do without a jig. Here's a frame pieces. Um, already put pocket holes in them. And let's put them in the jig. So now if you're living right, Let's take this, take these pieces. They should all be, it's the square table, so they should all be the same size. And they should be a very tight fit. Here I'm putting in the pocket screws. It'll hold, hold the, uh, basically hold the frame to the tabletop. And with the jig there, see it keeps them plumb and perfectly aligned. So you can't really mess it up. I talked about this last week, but it's important. And that is when you're cutting these blocks, um, you really need to be able to hold that end uh, so it doesn't go flying off hitting something. Uh, so I make this little this little 45 degree stop block here. So this will uh, measure my uh, corner block and also hold it in place when I cut it. Ok, 
countersinking my corner block screws. Uh, use just using pocket holes. These corner blocks go in here like this, and the legs attach to them. Oh, what we got to do now is drill a hole through here to attach the legs uh, with hanger bolts. Frame's done. We can uh, take the thing apart now. Then the legs go right in there. And they're held on by these, uh, what are called hanger bolts. The lag bolt side of it drills into the into the leg. That's the reason that measurement we took was so important. And then the bolt holds the thing on. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, drill those holes. I showed you how to do that last week so we'll just skip over that part got the legs all screwed on let's take it down and see how it sits That's going to sit down here at the end. Hope it's the same height. And it looks like about the same height. There's our square corner work table for Memphis Monday 299. And here's our corner wraparound workstation. And, you know, rather than put it in here at an angle and make uh, an angle cut here and put it in that way, we put the corner table in there. So now all three tables, uh, you know, can be used independently, you know, as their life progresses. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied. That does it for another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 299. Uh, next week will be Memphis Monday 300. I don't know what the project is for next week yet, but we'll try to make something halfway special. Um, today we made that, uh, that back uh, work table. I think the biggest takeaway for me is painting the things uh, painting all the parts before we put it together is really the way to go. Uh, it just makes the whole process so much simpler. Uh, just the same, same way we stain things before we put them together. So, like, favorite, and share, all the stuff to you on the internet. Most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.